How's the lighting look, huh? Hey, we got new lights. What's up, guys? Welcome back. And today, I'm going to answer the question you've all been asking. How do you clone a MacBook hard drive? I'm going to show you how to do it with what you already have on your MacBook. So let's get to it. There's only three things you're gonna need to do this. One, your MacBook. Two, your new hard drive. I recommend a solid state. And three, a STATA to USB 3.0 connector. So what we're gonna do with this first is plug in our new hard drive, which you'll see has the STATA connection right there, into this reader. You're gonna line it up so that the grooves match the same grooves in the connector. Slide it in, push it down. Now the hard drive is connected. What we do with this is plug it into our MacBook. All right, before you do anything, make sure you plug in your Mac to a power source. You don't want the battery to die during this process or you might lose everything. We have our hard drive in the enclosure. We're just gonna plug it in. We get it to light up so we know it's connected. After your new hard drive is connected to your MacBook, go to Launchpad, Other, Disk Utility. There's a couple things that you really need to be careful about or this is gonna fail for you. If you haven't formatted this drive yet, it needs to match the same format as the current hard drive. So I would click your internal hard drive and check could say uh, APFS, this we have Mac OS extended. You wanna make sure that you're gonna erase this drive and format it to be exactly the same format as the one you wanna clone, or it's not gonna work. So we have Mac OS extended, journaled. I'm gonna click the external. I'm gonna erase it. I'm gonna keep that name so I can identify them. I'm gonna make sure it's on this and erase it. So now we're gonna erase that whole drive. It's asking me if I want to use this as a time machine. No, thank you. Check mark. Okay, that is done. Now this drive has absolutely nothing on it. It's just a hard drive, has no operating system or anything. The way we're gonna clone our existing hard drive is with disk utility and with the restore function. Cloning, restoring, it's the same thing. And if you try to restore it now, which you want to make sure that you're highlighted your external drive because you don't want to reformat your internal drive with everything on it with a drive that has nothing on it or you'll lose everything, right? So make sure your external is highlighted. That's this drive. Click restore. It's going to give you options. There's only one thing here. So Macintosh HD, we want to take what's on Macintosh HD and put it on the Macintosh HD2. Click restore, you're gonna get this error message. If you click show details, uh, it says it cannot be unmounted. So to do this process on your Mac while the hard drive's in it, you need to unmount both of these drives at the same time for it to work. That's kind of like disconnecting it from the computer, not physically, but like virtually. So we need to shut the computer down, start it in recovery mode so that it's running on a partition on your internal hard drive and not on the hard drive itself. So you can close everything out. We just wanted to format that to be exactly the same as Macintosh HD. Now we are going to shut the computer down and we're going to start in recovery mode. So recovery mode, you're going to hold down command and R at the same time after you press the power button you hear the chime you want to make sure that you're holding that so I'm gonna hit the power button hold down command and R at the same time you can hold it till you see the Apple logo and it will go into this mode uh, if you didn't hold it enough and it starts normally then you didn't hold it enough so I usually just hold it for a long time until I see recovery mode come up here and you'll know when it happens now we are in recovery mode. You can release the keys. From recovery mode, we're gonna go to disk utility here. Click continue. 
Now we're running on this base system. It's like a safety feature that Mac does. Uh, we still have external as our drive over here and internal is Macintosh HD. So if you click this, your external drive, make sure you have that highlighted and click restore. We do not want to go from the base system or you would just have the basic operating system. We want to get all our information onto this drive from the other one. So we're clicking Macintosh HD, click restore. And now it has unmounted both drives. You see how they're both gray? That means they're dismounted. Um, if that, if it doesn't do it automatically, you would just click this drive that would say unmount you would unmount it and then go back here and click restoring but in this process it automatically does it click show details now it's validating everything it's restoring everything it's moving everything that you had on your current internal hard drive onto this new one that we're going to install in a different video and that's it you're going to wait for this process for that blue bar to go all the way and then I'm going to show you how to check to make sure everything's there and it's all up and running before you put that in the computer. So we'll come back towards the end of this process. It's going to take a long time. If you have a lot of stuff on here, it's going to take even longer. I have not much on this computer, so it's going to be relatively short, but still probably an hour or 45 minutes. Okay, so I'll see you then. All right, so after an hour, we have a green check mark. That means it was successful. I have the details shown here. Uh, if you don't, you just click the arrow just to make sure. Restoring, verifying, remounting, everything's good. Both drives are mounted again because they're not grayed out. Uh, we're just going to click done, and that's it. You have a successful clone of your hard drive. Um, I'm going to show you how to check that and make sure it's working really quick before you put it in the computer. Um, so if you just want to do a quick check, you click the Apple icon, you're going to click startup disk, and it's going to ask you which one you want to use. You should select the one with the external icon and then click restart. Click that too. And now the computer is going to restart off of that hard drive. It's not going to be on the one that's inside the computer it's going to boot from that one so you can see if the computer is going to start correctly and if all your files are there which they should be um, but this is just a quick little check before you go through the trouble of putting the hard drive in the computer don't get paranoid if it takes longer to start up because it is being started from a usb cable to uh, that bay um, could be a little slower than the internal drive normally would be but as you can see the computer starting normally and it'll go through its normal process until you have your home screen and there we go this should look exactly like your computer did because it's a clone and all your files should be there as you saw them originally and if you check in finder and you look through all your files everything should be there this is an exact clone copy of your hard drive you are now ready to install the new hard drive into your computer and you won't have to do a single thing from there out now make sure you shut this computer down you do not unplug this again this computer is running on that hard drive which is a clone of the one that is in your computer currently do not disconnect it shut the computer down the computer is shut down. I can disconnect this. If I chose to use this the way it is, I could start it up. It's gonna boot off the internal drive automatically. Um, and you can now install this hard drive into your computer and not have to do a single thing from that point out. So I hope this video was helpful and it showed you an easy way to clone your hard drive using no third party software. Uh, if you have any questions or you're having some problems, comment below. If you want to see another video that may help you out, comment below. That's how this one came to life. 
and yeah i'll see you on the next one yo youtube what's up gunner torino making another video like and subscribe yo shout out gunner torino like and subscribe down below click the button right there Gang, gang.